there are different parts of our brain that have a very big influence on us. The amygdala is the part of the brain that has the fight or flight that produces anxiety. Um, the prefrontal cortex is the part of the brain which we call for executive functioning where it's the part that's reflective. It's the part that um, we, we are calm and we say, do we want to do that? Do we not want to do that? We put things in perspective. Those two parts of the brain are fight for, with each other. In other words, the passion, I'm going to do that because it's exciting, but it may be harmful. The other part of the brain says, you don't want to do that. And so that whole emotional fight or flight part of the brain during meditation, um, through brain imaging, they see that that calms down and the prefrontal cortex lights up. So um, that open-mindedness creates um, where creativity comes from because creativity is not coming from the working the brain in the I will work hard and think about it in that I will muscle it through. It comes from this relaxation. It's just like it's an opening up and you know take a hot shower and don't be thinking of something and some great idea comes through and you grab the great idea. So meditation is very much um, like that. It opens, it opens the mind, creates an openness, a freedom. It's uh, in which that I don't know whether we would say intuition or those that creativity just kind of comes through, and it creates an equanimity. That in other words, you could step back and you can um, put things in perspective. It doesn't lessen your emotions. The emotions are the same, but you can step back and say, "I'm not going to be controlled by that emotion." or let me put things, and I think it then helps to see things at a higher level.